What is up guys, Lord Respawn here. Welcome to another Animal Crossing video. So in this video, we are making a waterfall fountain. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do that so that you don't have to pay for a fountain, you can just terraform your own um, and really just have a good time with it. It is a great feature for the front of your island. So I'm gonna build mine right here. So let's get right into you know what you need to do to start this out. Here's a look at what the fountain is gonna look like at night. Obviously, you can see definitely a statement piece. The neon lights, the floor lights really, really do it justice. I mean, it looks incredible, but let's jump right into exactly how to build it. The first step in building a waterfall fountain is going to be mapping out where you want it to be. So I want it to be in this location right here. What you want to do is you want to dig six holes down and then six holes across. And what that does is it lines up exactly where you need to build your cliff construction to build the first layer of the fountain so what we want is a five by five area for the base of the fountain so as you can see here we are finishing up our five by five base of the fountain and we're going to go ahead and make sure you get rid of these holes that you dug to kind of map it out but this is going to be your five by five base as you can see pretty pretty big here it's going to be a pretty prominent feature as you walk right onto my island the next step is to build a 3x3 base on top of the fountain, or on top of the 5x5. And as you can see here, it's going to center perfectly on top of the base that you already created. Here's the 3x3 square on top of our base. And as you can see, the fountain is, you know, it's, it's taking shape. But we're on top of the fountain. We want to get out our waterscaping tool, stand in the middle, and you're going to just hit the four different sides of the fountain and this is going to be you know the the top of the fountain if you will one important thing to make sure you do on your fountain is you want to add like a topper to the top of your fountain so we're going to put a garden gnome right there on the top and if you don't like the way that it's you know that it's sitting or whatnot you can always just cover that right up and then you can take put your tool away and then you can spin him Get back out your water escaping and then you are good to go one thing i recommend is you want to put like flowers or something um on top you know give it a little bit of life at the top of the flout at the top of the uh the fountain and we're just going to do yellow and blue so we're going to kind of alternate these make it look really nice on the top and let's go ahead and do that and the last yellow one is going to be right here now we're going to do something similar. We're going to make the, the next level of the waterfall. And what you want to do is it's going to be easiest to put your different uh, corner pieces at this time in your corner. So I'm doing floor lights. Um, I think it's a really great idea uh, to kind of alternate different color floor lights and really add some life uh, to your fountain. So we're going to go ahead and do that. As you can see, we now have lights on all of our sides of the fountain so what we want to do is we want to start actually crafting the next level of the fountain and you're gonna do it this way you're gonna kind of do it behind you uh, so that you can easily make sure you hit every single part but you're gonna knock out the three pieces in between each of the lights or whatever uh, portion that you or whatever item you decide to put on the, each of your corners and as you can see, we are really starting, or this is really starting to take shape and it's turning out very, very cool. So there we have a waterfall fountain. And to finish it off, we're gonna surround it with a bunch of water. I recommend doing like a two by two or a three by three square around uh, the entire fountain. So we're gonna actually do a two by two. So what that's gonna look like is you're gonna do one and then you're gonna do a two by two like that. I'm just gonna knock out this entire side of the fountain. So there's one side of it, two by two. And then we are going to do another 
We're going to do this all the way around the entire fountain. Guys, now it's time to look at the finished product. Here we have our waterfall fountain. Obviously, you can see a 2x2 two two kind of moat around it. And, I mean, it looks incredible. I've seen people do anywhere between, you know, 3x3s three to 5x5s five fives around it. Kind of personal taste. Uh, but for this particular area, I really wanted to keep it, you know, kind of small so that I could, you know, definitely run uh, between beaches and things like that. But hopefully this video helped you out, guys. Hopefully this answered your question on how to build a waterfall fountain. Sometimes it's it's kind of uh, difficult and confusing to figure out how to terraform. So uh, let me know in the comments, you know, what else have you guys terraformed? Did this video help you out? Uh, for more Animal Crossing content, keep it right here, and I will catch you guys on the next video. Later!